guys are welcome you all to the women's month are you guys having fun this women's month are you guys holding it down to all our women out there it is our month and we are going to make good use of it i welcome you all to this beautiful morning right here in the city of lagos i welcome you all to this amazing show called the morning buzzer and my name is princess peters i'm your host here on the morning buzzer this is one show that kickstarts your day we put you on the right mood and set you on the right path for all day long morning buzzer is a vibrant and dynamic morning program that takes you on a training journey through the hustle and bustle of your early hours, we explore lives of individuals from all walks of life, exploring their morning routines and their challenges. This is your show, your number one show on TV. But I do not do this alone. I have my very own in the building. The one that used to disturb me. Who did disturb me? My... <laughs> Will you allow me to finish my intro? Before you go and put you allow me to finish my okay, intro. Okay, okay, be done, be done. The one that used to disturb me. <laughs> my OG before IG. <laughs> the one that would send me a message, babe Afa, I get talk. When you not calling, <laughs> you talk no even really. You get it? Well let's welcome it. Let's welcome it. <laughs> You have your favorite host, M to the ITCH, Mitch on your number one show on TV, The Morning Buzzer. When it comes to energy, when it comes to vibe, when it comes to richness and diversity springing from various parts of the society, we bring you everything on your TV screen. It is information packed, it is educative and very much entertaining. We are here for you and we promise to make your day an amazing one and a very fantastic one. The Morning Buzzer runs from Mondays through Fridays with lots of amazing segments. And yeah, we're going to give you a whole lot today. How are you doing, princess? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Like I said, <laughs> like say this hair, this hair, <laughs> this hair. This A. Hey, this is how you wish to feel whenever you have it. You get a new hair. Don't concern you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we shall borrow it. How, how do doing? I look, guys? Yeah, you, you look you look good. You thank look good. you so you much, good. my darling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Doing? you. I'm fine, thank you. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. My yesterday night is this morning. Very beautiful. Very mm. sweet mm. night. Why you been the why you been the good at yesterday? <laughs> where were you up to? Or where were you coming from? <laughs> Wakama. <laughs> Guys, remember the morning buzzer is brought to you by Kellogg's Conflicts, Cocoa Pops, and, and Indomino Dos. We are here to set your day right for you all. And we will be sharing with you all some motivational moments and also we'll kickstart your day with our amazing exercise from our amazing exercise experts. Let's see what she has for us. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. Welcome back, guys. How you all doing? What's happening? Today is the second day of the week, and I'm so sure you guys are going to have an amazing time with us because we are going to start your day with you. And I'm so sure you had an amazing time with our exercise expert. She did justice to that exercise. I love her. If you're watching me, my baby, no, I love you many, so much. How many push-ups have you done? <laughs> Mrs. Love. Did they tell you that? Did they, they tell you that push-ups are for ladies? Eh? Did they tell you that push-ups no, are for ladies? For what? Are for guys. <laughs> Allah has raised the... What do you call it? It's a dumbbell. It's a dumbbell. It's a dumbbell. Hi! Hey. <laughs> Today, we are going to be talking about an interesting topic, which is the musician, the promoter, and the, the money. money. The ego. The money. 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 And looking at it now, yeah. Mitch, it looks as if that a lot of musicians now know their right, yeah. now know their stand. So it's it now looking like because of the musicians now know where they, they stand, stand, the yeah. promoters are now behaving, going through the right path. Behaving themselves. Yes, they are behaving uh, themselves. Talk, I'm talking about um, Kogbagidi back then, you know. Big smoke, belly, tobacco. That song is playing like everywhere, you know. Yeah. So reminds me of the case of um, Kogbagidi when he had that whole issue with um, Portable. Portable, you know, yeah, Being right. a promoter and everything. You see, the promoters uh, are so... Ripping. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're not ripping. They're not ripping. They're not ripping. So I feel like Portable... <laughs> What's the word now? Portable opened a lot of, should I say, open open a kind of door, door for, you himself. for himself. Do you understand? And also reaching out to other people that ah, if you don't voice out, yes, they will chop you. Do you understand? Yeah, right. And sometimes looking at the perspective of the promoter, do you understand? This promoter, most of them, or should I say, some of them, have invested a lot. A of lot. Money. Do you understand? So a they lot are of looking money for a way to get, get their the returns money back. back. So yes. do you understand? So sometimes they 
they go overboard. Over, yes, they overdo you understand? it. You understand? They overdo it. You yes. get. You see somebody going for a, an artist going for a show. You make promotions and everything, and you want to take ninety ten. Thank you. Just want you. to give the artist ten. ten. I forget that that artist ten that ten percent. Five. Some will say five. five. You're forgetting that that artist that is taking 10 or 5%. He has his own team. Yeah, he so he has some things he has. To, yeah, he has to his stop. own personal life. Do you yeah, understand? Right. So sometimes, you know, we, we, these, are, these, these are the issues we have with promoters, promoters and, 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 and artists. Uh, artists, and artists I, yeah. Looking at Portable now. <laughs> Mitch, portable. I just think where Portable is going to. Portable is, um, is, is, a, is like we said it one time on this show that Portable yeah. is like a case study. A case study. You know, and and I, one of the things I like about Portable is the fact that he. He knows how to stay on his yes, lane. Yes, he knows his onion. So he just stays on his on lane. His not, lane. I'm not. It's not. It's not on the uh, as the issue of Bonner boy. No, he's not. He's not. He's not. He doesn't even lane. have time. Just he doesn't have lane. time for that. And funny time. enough, eh, portable. The old noise portable made yeah, as that when then. he started. It's paying for him yeah, now. They want to so if you're, if you're, if you're a promoter, I remember one time this guy Billy Q uh, in, the, in the UK he mm. invited portable. If you're inviting portable now as a promoter to come and you know and come to your show and everything, mm -hmm. you have to get your onions right. A lot of people were even asking Billy Q that why was he not in the music? In the music so video, yeah, 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 so yeah, yes. skepta, yeah. Yeah, that was in that said no that please I'm not a video, video fixing, I need to be behind yeah, the camera. Yeah, you <laughs> if you're gonna call if you're gonna call someone like portable now for a show or for something Thing, you understand? You're going to pay man. You have to come. Man, it's not even about the money. Come correct. Come make sure, correct. Make sure his percentages are complete. Complete. I'm saying you can't do the one. Possible thing. said it now. After this movie, he <laughs> said, "Say my money don't go no. up." Yeah, obviously. Because not he not knows his way. He knows his onions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people will say, "Oh, Portable is this. He's not a good musician. He sings nonsense. He's not somebody that we should listen to. He's not a, a, a good artist." But I tell you for free, my guy. Portable is good at what, what he, he does. does. Um, coming back, coming back, before we go to a quick break, there's this other person that is very fantastic and we heard of recent, you know, Jellof, Jellof, uh, Mr. Jellof, you know, mm -hmm. reached out to Bonner Boy, do you yeah. understand, his promoters and everything, and he said $1 million dollars one mi in not do. In not do. In not do. I like it. The same way you reach out to some of all these uh, celebrities. Yeah. Or, no, not, let, let, I'm even going to movie. Same way you reach out to all these uh, movie actors and actresses for them to come and play all these regular you films. So. They will say, no, I don't do it. I only no, do cinema, cinema. now. Hmm. So it is just you knowing what you want, you want to, do. to do. So you I don't blame uh, Portable. And besides that, portable. before you do or know what you want to do, make sure you have got into a level. A level. Mm -hmm. You're right. We're going back to the topic, the music, the promoter, the promoter and, and the, the money. money. We'll be going on a quick break. And when we come back, we have our guest who's going to come and talk diversely on the promoting business in the music industry. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. Welcome back, guys. How are you all doing? This is your number one show on TV, The Morning Buzzer. And you know, before we went on break, we told you that we'll be bringing an amazing guest in the studio who is a music promoter. Today, we'll be talking about the musician, the promoter, and the, the money. money. We have in building jcty how are you doing i'm doing fine it's good. Doing? i'm doing cool thanks for ah, having me what are they are dropping money you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying leave all this they are oh we are doing a lot we are doing <laughs> then they chop <laughs> money <laughs> but now when i heard his name jcty well that's my say please where did it come from okay. please how did you put the letters together to okay. form jcty <laughs> okay um i'm all what hell by name so it was when I was writing my GC, then uh, we were writing Yoruba, and the the invitators came around like, okay, what's going on? You can't even do anything here. Uh, I said, are you a book guy? You look like a boy. I said, no, I'm Yoruba. I said, no, let me check your name. And I checked Oluwatayo, Ebenezer came. He said, oh, what's the meaning of Ebenezer? I said, Ebay, Lorun, Alam, Lorde. He said, you know, he said, it means that you use this way God have helped you reach. He said, that that's not the meaning that I should go and find the meaning. There is more to it. So I got to church on one day like that. Uh, the pastor was just preaching. Just said, "Check first Samuel seven twelve," and I checked it. Like that was where I found a bine JC. You understand? Like okay, JCTY. From there, also member of Junior Chamber International JCI. So from there, a lot of JCTY. So that's why I discovered it. Beautiful. <laughs> so JCTY is a music, music promoter. promoter. So today we are talking about. The musician, the promoter, and the money. money. And my first question to JCTY is, yeah. what is the job of a promoter, a music promoter? Well, the job of a music promoter is to book a talented artist for a venue and make money by the booking of the shows. So, or 
A promoter can also be someone that promotes artists for me to be able to discover such artists in a way bigger shows. So the people that sing randomly pick an artist, maybe you see somebody singing on the streets now, you just say, oh, this guy will be great. Mm -hmm. So when you pick him up and you yeah, start we, no, not uh, training if you, him, if you, you if you're not training, you're, no, you're not a promoter that way. You, you, you're like a scout mm -hmm. or you're like an Ian Arrow, mm -hmm. the gate. Okay. You're like a scout for a record label or an Ian Arrow that discover an artist for the record okay. label. A function of a promoter is like, I'm going to promote this artist because I want to make money out of him. Okay. And it says that, okay, get him for a show. A bigger show, make money by sales or making money by the merchandise of the artist. He cut on it. So, um, Jesse T.Y., what are this? What are some important skills a, a music promoter or a promoter should have? You know, if we're going to number one, uh, there's nothing about promoter now. In every in every field, your attitude matters a lot. Okay. Because on the job, there was only going to be always the pressure. When the pressure arises, how do you manage your your your, your, your pressure stand? And how do you manage your communication skills also? Because there's a way you need to. I don't know you, I don't know you, just like oh, you got married to someone, yeah. you refer people from different background. Mm -hmm. There's some speech I might utter to you, you might not be yeah, cool with it. Do you get? So I need to understand how to communicate. Communication is key. Do you get? The pressure will arise, definitely. But how am I going to communicate with you that you understand me that it's based on the job? So that's part of it. So can a promoter work with two or more artists? Definitely, of course. You can't work with one artist, you can work with different artists. Just like a talent manager, I understand. Mm -hmm. But the only thing is just that you have, you have, you need to have someone that will be with the artist. Okay. Do you get like a like a PA, person assistant? Do you get? Okay. But the major most one going to be in like going to figure out everything, like give this decision at do this, do that, do this. Mm -hmm. Get. So um, how um another question is um, if um if I if I have like a company yeah, yeah. like I want to make money and all of that. And I come to you like a promoter. So what is that thing I should look out for before I hire you as a promoter? Uh, before you hire me, at least uh, at first, uh, you need to look at the past record of the of the promoter. Okay. Okay. What have you done before? Okay. You get. If let's uh, uh, for example now, maybe if I'm new or novice in the industry, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. such person needs to go to learn. Needs to go out to go and learn. Is that like someone. is that like a school or you have to no no? Study? You work with maybe someone like in the field already. Okay. You learn on the job. Okay. You yeah. get. You start working with them. Trying to learn one or two things from them, from there, okay, come back to us. Yeah. Just like football, that you say, okay, he's on loan, just go on loan, go, go and learn some things, come back, come back. Do you get? Yeah. But as a promoter, like an official promoter, you need to look at past record, your experience, what project have you had before, which artist have you worked with before, do you get? Which country have you traveled to before? All those are part of it. Yeah. yeah. Because now, for example, now, uh, if you are, you, you, there's one thing I'm doing an artist in Nigeria alone. Okay, have you done an artist outside the country? Or taking an artist to a different country, country. so that's part of it. Mm. Because now my next question is basically personal. Because yeah. when they say when you talk about career, especially when you're a pilot, they say there's something that interests you about being a pilot. Yeah. So now you being a promoter, mm. what interests you being a promoter. about being a promoter? Well, um, back in school, I love entertainment. The gates. Um, the like I got it from Lautech. My mission account is BTEC Oda. <laughs> so I love I love entertainment. I've always been organizing shows, events back in school. Mm. That has the really passion I love. I love organizing things, like to create things around people. So I've been doing that back in school. And I'm like, okay, after graduation from school, I don't think I can be I can be noisy to tie. I want to be in this social field. This field. They get. So as then Twitter just, Twitter just came out then. So just like newly. So I started following some people, keep people in the industry then back I was still in school. So after my service here, I started following them. I started trying to check what they are doing. Mm -hmm. So once I got back to Lagos, I was like, okay. I any big name? Explore. What did you say? Did you work on any big name? No, I just went to go and meet the likes of uh, mm, Ife uh, uh Mr. Larry Lanwa, okay. uh, Bashi Joy, the president of Artist Manager of Nigeria. Okay. So people like that, like, tried to put me through. So I joined the session of Artist Manager of Nigeria from there. We go to network with them, going for events, and mm -hmm. try to learn one or two things from there. So before I were to stand on my own. Okay. So um so so talking about the economy of today, yeah. you know, because we know that there's a certain is there like a certain amount you